What's up, YouTube land? This is your boy, Anton, AKA Dr. Mix-A-Lot. And today I'm here to talk to you about one of the myths of mobile bartending. And that is when I work, I only work as a bartender and only a bartender. Um, I'm sure a lot of you, again, with the rec requisite experience I talked to you about earlier, have had your catering jobs where you show up, they tell you you're a bartender and you're not, and you're pissed. And that happens and I understand um, that being upset with that. But at the end of the day, you show up, you get paid, you do what you're asked to do and you leave and that's what it is. And the freelance bartending business is no different. Um, I have tons of friends that work double as bartenders and servers and do every single dirty thing they're asked to do at that event. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to this business, you're paid for your time. That means if I show up and it turns out that all you want me to do is clean the whole event instead of bartending, which will never happen, but still, you have to be prepared to do that. And as long as you have your money in pocket at the end of the event, whatever they ask you to do, whether it's pouring drinks, whether it's serving meals, whether it's picking up trays, cleaning trash, you know, um, setting up at the buffet station, anything they ask you to do that, that event, you do because they will love you for it. And I'm telling you, it's so much extra than what I do other than bartending is what really keeps customers coming back and that I'm at their service for whatever request they have for anything. So again, uh, when you show up to be a bartender in an event, just be prepared to throw on different hats and do whatever the moment requires to make sure that you get paid and your customers stay happy. So with that said, this is your boy, Dr. Mix-A-Lot signing off. Happy mixing and cheers to unbeatable service.